Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a transistor as a switch. Now you might say, why are you doing this? Well, this is my prototype before applying it into my dual FPV cam switcher V2, which I have already done and it's on the way currently. This is V1. It just switches the camera. It has four inputs on the IC, but it actually we're only using two inputs. So you can switch between two cameras. However, on the V2, on the bottom side, I've added a capacitor array, a small capacitor array to give you some filtration on your setup, whatever it might be in our wing in our airplane and also added the functionality to turn on and off your VTX. So this is the current prototype. And what's really cool is you can use this knowledge on just about anything else to turn it on or off programmably. Let's take a closer look here and try to understand what's really going on. Now, what I have here is a just a watt meter amperage meter here. And as you can tell, it's going on and off. And at the same, at the same time, the VTX is going on and off. And that's because uh, the transistor here is acting like a switch, but a pre-programmed switch. And it's very easy. All it has is three pins and just a resistor. And I'll explain why in a bit. So what's going on is we have this battery here applying the positive directly to this and the VTX at the same time. However, the ground is connected through the transistor. And once the transistor receives five volts, on its middle pin, and I'll show you a transistor here. Now this is a really nice kit, I got it from Bingo. It comes with a bunch of transistors, all kinds, PNP and NPN. Currently we're using an NPN transistor, which basically connects our grounds together. And I'm using the 2N222A NPN transistor. So let's just take one here, for example. This has both PNP, this little kit. It's really nice, because I've already burned like three by accident, so it's really nice to get a bunch of these. So we can see, now for an NPN transistor, which is what we're using currently. Now it has a flat side, as you can tell right here, or maybe it might be really difficult, and the round side. So we're gonna have the round side facing us. Uh, so what do you do first with an NPN? This is very important because there's a difference between PNP and NPN transistors. Now with the round side facing us on an NPN transistor, what you do is you connect the ground of the battery here, and as well as the ground of the Arduino or whatever that's going to be applying five volts to the part that's going to enable the transistor, which is the middle pin. And then here is the ground that's going to go to our VTX. So what's going on here is we have the positive from the battery going directly through the watt meter to the VTX. We could just consider it directly to the VTX. And these two are just like one module. So the positive is going direct here. It's not going anywhere with this circuit here. And then the next thing is the ground. The ground of the battery is going to this leg here that's on the right. And what it's doing is it's going through that leg once you enable this pin here. So think of it as like a switch. Once it, this thing hits five volts, the middle pin right here, and then it connects this pin and this pin together and thus allowing everything to turn on. Now the ground from this side is connected to this and to that and it's not connected to the battery because the battery is connected, the ground's battery is connected here. And here we're just applying five volts on and off to turn this thing on and off or the VTX on and off or whatever it might be on and off. So I'm gonna show you example right now. So here currently what I have is the a digital pin that's programmed to turn on for 10 seconds and turn off for five seconds. If I remove it, everything will power off. Now currently this wire is simulating the middle pin of the transistor. So we're simulating the middle pin of the transistor here. And now watch this, when I just apply five volts, just direct five volts to it, it's not really good. You need a resistor in order to, uh, to limit the current so you don't blow out the, resist the transistor. So I might blow out the transistor here, but that's totally fine just for uh, educational purposes. If I give the middle pin five volts, it'll enable this and it'll stay on until I give it ground or remove it from five volts. So I kind of accidentally did it backwards. It's okay, we'll keep the resistor in the place here. So I kind of did it back. So I'm gonna apply five volts now. <laughs> and as you can tell, now it's powered on. Now it won't turn off at all. So it'll just stay on until I remove the five volts from it, which is exactly what that pin that was there doing. It was just pre-programmed to turn five volts on and off, on and off. As you can tell, it'll stay on now. So if we pop the five volt off, and then we stick it back to our digital pin six. And I'll show you how to do this in the code. So we're using just pin six here. So currently I think it's off, so I'm just gonna reset. Oh no, there we go. So it's gonna be 10 seconds on and 10 seconds off. Now we're doing the same thing here with the V2. However, what we have is, we might have a huge short here very soon if I keep, if 
fucking up like this. So the V2 is currently on the way. I finished it and I'll show you the design in a bit. And a huge shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. Now to order from PCBWay is absolutely easy. All you gotta do is put the dimensions of the board, choose how many boards you'd like. You can leave these all as default. I might sometimes change the color of the PCB to blue here. And then all you gotta do is calculate. And now it'll calculate the cost. So it's gonna cost us five bucks for 10 of these. Once you choose your shipping option, all you gotta do is just add to cart. It'll take you to your order page and it'll ask you to upload the file. Now the Gerber file is very easy. You can have your own Gerber file if you know what you're doing. You can download one as well. So for example, here we'll just download this one. Next thing you wanna do, you just wanna click on the add Gerber file and then you're greeted with this. Find your file, upload, submit order. And then you just gotta wait now it takes around five hours until they give you to approve to purchase and what they do here is they actually go and check your files if it's correct if you made a mistake so it does reduce the cost if there was some sort of an error so as you can tell here now i just wait until i get the approval subject to audit it'll say approved and then you could just proceed to checkout and then continue on okay so the v2 here will have a transistor in the back and it'll also have the still the at tiny arduino here the at tiny 85 chip so what the at tiny will do here is it'll receive a pwm signal and it'll transfer into a digital signal which is on or off in order for us to be able to turn on or off that transistor because we still have more pins on this available uh, from the v1 so i was like okay why don't we just make it a little bit more useful and obviously all of this is open hardware and open source so you can do anything you want with this i'll have a link to the v1 currently uh v2 i will not release until i make sure it works so uh, once i receive the v2 which should be on monday or tuesday we'll build it together and then we'll go ahead and test it out now the v1 works flawlessly works really nice and v2 is just going to be slightly better so I really hope you guys are learning something here. And if you guys want to see something specific or you have an idea of something, let me know down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to do more projects. To be honest, I'm feeling more, I'm tending more towards projects now. I really want, just want to do some DIY, open hardware, open source projects. I also got my open hardware flight controller, if you guys remember it. And remember I told you I got stuck on the OSD. I finally figured out all the issues with the OSD. At least I think I figured out all the issues with the OSD. And uh, expect to see a part two of this. And if you guys are interested, let me know down in the comment section if you want to see what I actually did wrong. First of all, I'd made a mistake with the microcontroller unit. And then the second, I made a mistake with the OSD. Um, and if you guys want to see that video, let me know. Uh, and then maybe we can uh, do the repairs as well in that video. And then just uh, go ahead and ask PCBWay to sponsor us with another one. So we can go ahead and rebuild it. Now, building this was a pain in the ass because they were just really tiny components. And um, yeah, I just made a mistake in the PCB design, not the schematic, the PCB design. That's why I did not release the OSD version because then a lot of you would probably wasted your money. Uh, so this is the reason why I didn't release the OSD version. After we complete the OSD version, then the next step is the F7. Uh, and then possibly, you know, the gyro fusion stuff. So yeah, expect to see these and let me know what you guys think. It's crazy because it's not really getting much traction. And is there a reason for that? I'd really like to know. It really helped me understand how to go about my content in order to just get more obviously views the more the more views the more traffic i get obviously the better it is for the channel and it's all about you guys what do you guys want to see let me know what you guys want to see and i'll have a link to everything down below obviously if you guys could use those those greatly support the channel and i also do have a patreon if you can support me there, that would be super awesome and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think down in the comment section what do you want to see more of so i also do have a couple more ideas that i'm working on and i'll probably make like a vlog type video to tell you about some of the projects and then you guys choose what you guys would like to see first so i can just get started on that and i really hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think down in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys